Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the end of the big holiday weekend. It's back to work and school for many, uh, but at least the weather is going to be cooperative and ease you right into the week. But changes though Wednesday and beyond. We'll talk more about that. And then as we get into December, it gets a little bit more interesting, at least for us meteorologists. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. First off though, the end of the travel day here and there have not been many travel issues during the entire holiday. Uh, uh, but some delays during the course of this afternoon and evening, especially in the Northeast. Newark was experiencing delays, but that appears to have thinned out. These are uh, amount of times of the delays. LaGuardia 45 minutes uh, going through the Northeast and some snow in upstate New York. Uh, so folks coming from that direction are feeling it for sure. And then the West Coast uh, SFO San Francisco has been pegged with three hour delays up to three hour delays for some airlines because of the pre and uh, the precip is lightened up over here, but uh, still planes waiting to land and take off in LAX in Los Angeles, uh, at least half hour delays there late this afternoon and early this evening. As we look at the big picture, we got a nice river of air moving across the West Coast, courtesy of high pressure that has been anchored over uh, northwestern Mexico, the southwest US, and this low pressure trough that's keeping it cloudy and wet up across the northwest. So this nice plume of moisture will add for more rain and snow at elevation for great news for skiers down the road for sure. Meanwhile, locally, we've been pretty much under the influence of high pressure. It's been quiet across much of the lower 48 in between the edges of the northeast and the west. And as we look close to home, fair skies, very light north wind following that frontal boundary that was very diffuse, hard to find. Just a few high level cirrus clouds. We're seeing those over toward Mississippi, but overall clear skies will continue tonight through tomorrow as high pressure stays dominant. Nice breeze from the northeast, but not as breezy as it was at points today. So it's going to be a cool start by lunchtime. We get into the mid 60s. Winds beginning to turn a little bit more easterly, at least briefly tomorrow, and then back out of the northeast late in the day. But as we head into Tuesday, that high pressure ridge departs off to the east and we'll start to see an easterly wind and eventually a southeasterly wind going into Tuesday. So mostly sunny early on Tuesday, but some clouds later in the day. Then we do have part of a disturbance that's coming out of the Rockies that will produce and engender cloud cover and the chance of scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but we're not expecting severe weather nor a heavy rainfall. That system moves quickly to the east. Thursday we get a secondary cool front uh, that'll cool us off, so we'll warm up up as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, then cool down Thursday into Friday. Then going into the weekend, that frontal boundary begins to work its way northward. Saturday looks good. Sunday, more clouds, maybe a few showers. And then getting downright warm as we get into early next week. We could see 80 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. We'll have to wait and see on that. But the longer range pattern aloft as we look at the big picture, and in particular as we get into December, watch the cold air begin to develop here in the in Canada and building into the Rockies. We have a low pressure system energy coming down, so we're going to have an energetic storm going into the second week of December. That'll probably be a snowstorm to the north, maybe a severe weather event to the south. And following that, maybe some colder air, possibly the coldest air of the season. We'll have to wait and see. Tonight, though, upper 30s to near 40. you got to argue for some patchy frost here if the winds are light enough. So protect the tender vegetation all the way down through the I-10 quarter, lower 40s as well. And right near 40, perhaps a few upper 30s showing up by daybreak tomorrow. So nice and chilly, but it warms up nicely as we indicated for tomorrow afternoon. Back into the upper 60s to near 70 tomorrow night. Not as cool, but still chilly. Chilly. And then as we head into Tuesday afternoon, well into the mid 70s. So it's going to warm up as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday and likely part of Thursday. So a chilly night ahead, some patchy frost possible, especially in the rural areas by daybreak. 43 the low in the city of Lafayette, but even in the less uh, uh, concreted areas of Lafayette, we could see a little patchy frost as well. Tomorrow, great start to the week, a cool start, mild finish, lots of sunshine, 70 your projected high. And here we we go in the 10 day forecast mid 70s for the midweek period, then a little bit of a cool down Friday, Saturday, then a warm up Sunday into early next week, and we may not be done with 80 degree temperatures yet, but do not fret. There is colder air on the way, I think second week of December 